Welcome back. A year later, and I have three new icon packs for you. And I'm gonna show you how to use them. So, here for you guys today, I created for you three new icon packs, and I know some of you have been waiting a while for this. But firstly, we have the Dark Gradient Icon Pack, then we have the Light Gradient Icon Pack, where in both of these packs, every icon has its own unique individual shape. A look that you never see in iOS. And with the icons come their matching wallpapers. And then thirdly, we have this old iOS style icon pack, which I think is really cool. It gives this retro look to a new phone and it just combines new and old in a really nice way. With these icons also come their wallpapers. All of this is linked below, by the way. And then of course, not a new icon pack, but one that you guys really seem to like, we have the gray on gray icons. And also, just so you know, in the links in the description, you'll find that there's even more icon packs than the ones mentioned in this video. Alongside, of course, the ones mentioned in this video. Also, something that's worth noting is you can use all these icons at the same time and just have them on different home screens, which you can hide or show by holding on a home screen and selecting which home screens you want. You can then switch between them. You can do the same thing with the wallpaper. So if you go into the lock screen and hold on it, you can switch between different wallpaper sets for the lock screen and a home screen and then it changes. And so you can very, very quickly change between different setups. But anyway, the process for installing these icons is all the same, though there might be slightly different requirements for certain icon packs, especially the gradient one. And I'm gonna take you through it in this video if you don't already know how. So, first thing that we're gonna do without wasting any more time is download the wallpapers and the icons from my website, ramielnagar.com. Everything is linked in the description. So you press download, Watch it load in the bottom, press download again, and then go into your downloads folder. Click on the zip, open the zip, open the folder, and then open the zip inside if that's the bundle that you got. And then you'll find your icons inside the folder. So just navigate your way to this folder. You'll see all the icons there. Now the main icons don't look good on the dock. So I made two folders, dock blend and dock small. These contain all the icons, but slightly adapted so that they fit into the dock and look better because the whole idea is that they have to match the background. Anyway, create a new screen. Press add and add your widgets if you want to do it the same way that I did. If you don't want to add widgets, don't. But I'm going to add three widgets so I have that alignment where it's three widgets on the left and then the icons on the right. After you've done that, make sure it's on dark mode if you're using the dark icons because it just looks better. Everything looks better. It blends in with the background wallpaper. Now to make the icons themselves, open up the shortcuts app, press add in the top right corner, add action, scripting, and then press open app. Press app and choose the app that you want to create an icon for. In this case, I'm going to create an icon for photos. Once you've done that, press open app at the top of the screen, add to home screen, remove the label for a cleaner look, press on the icon and then press choose file. Then navigate your way to the folder that contains all the icons and find the icons for the app you chose. In this case, I'm going to choose photos. You can search for it, you can scroll to it, do whatever. And there you go, you'll find it right on the home screen. Now basically you gotta just keep on doing this process for every single icon. I know it's a bit repetitive, but that's all that Apple's given us. If you've already created shortcuts for all your apps because you've done this before, you don't need to create a new one. Press the three dots on the shortcut for the app that you wanna create an icon for. Then press open app at the top of the screen, add to home screen, remove the label, press on the icon, press choose file, navigate your way to the icon that you wanna use. In this case, the app store icon. Now, I'm just gonna keep on doing this until I've gotten all the icons that I want. There's about 70 or 80 icons in the pack, so you have a lot to choose from. But basically the idea behind this icon pack is that every single icon has its own shape instead of the typical iOS icons, which are all a rounded square. The way this works is that the background color of the icons matches the background color of the wallpaper. That's why it's important that you use the same wallpapers that I give you. This is also why it's important you use the dock blend icons for the icons you're gonna put in the dock because the dock has a slightly different background color. Or if you're not using this specific wallpaper, then in any case, just use dock small because the size of the logos of the apps in comparison to the actual icon size looks nicer. So if the background color of the icon is different to the background color of your wallpaper, dock small will look nicer. And in that case, you should use dock small for all the icons, not just the dock. And remember, the way you navigate to dock blend or dock small is the same way you navigate to the main icons, except you'll find the folders for dock blend and dock small in there 
open those and that's where the icons are. Here you only see four icons but in the pack that you download all the icons are going to be in there. So you can put any icons in the dock. And here I'm just highlighting for you the slight color difference between dock blend icons and the color of the wallpaper. And since the dock has a slightly lighter color, this is what allows it to fit into the dock and look like it doesn't have a background. Now remember, it's the same process for installing the icons regardless of the icon pack that you download. The only difference is the dock blend and dock small when it comes to this specific icon pack. But anyway, finishing up the dock and you're left with this beautiful final result. And that is pretty much it. And that's the dark gradient icon pack. And it's the same idea exactly for the light gradient icon pack and pretty much the same concept for the gray and gray icons and the old iOS icons. Now this is just a second reminder to tell you that all these icons, once again, and the wallpapers are linked below. But before we end up this video, I'm gonna give it just one more run through with the gray on gray icons showing you how to install them. But remember, it's the exact same thing with the old iOS icons. And also remember, just so you know, if you hit the link in the description, there's even more icon packs than the ones mentioned in this video. But anyway, for the gray and gray icons. Now, if you watched how to install the gradient icon pack, I mean, this is pretty much the same thing. There's just less requirements when it comes to matching the icons with the wallpaper. Anyway, you download the wallpapers and icons from my website, link below. Navigate to the download folder where you downloaded it. Open a zip file, open a folder, Navigate your way to the wallpapers folder and choose the wallpaper that you want. You don't have to use these wallpapers, but it will just look much better. Save the image that you want, so we'll go into photos later to set as a wallpaper. That's the one for the lock screen, and this is the one for the home screen, for my personal preference. And then once you've done that, head into photos, press share, and press set as wallpaper. Choose which one you want for a lock screen and which one you want for a home screen. On top of this, of course, with iOS 14, you get the option to make some extra customizations to your lock screen. So I like to change the font of the clock. That's my personal favorite font. And then I said this is the home screen and that was done. Now, time to do the icon. So you head into the shortcuts app. If you already have shortcuts made, press the three dots on the app you want to create a shortcut for. Press open app, add to home screen, remove the label for a cleaner look. Press on the icon, press choose file, and then navigate your way to the folder with the icons in it and either search or scroll for the icon that you want. Click on it, press add, and you'll find it on your home screen. Now, if this is your first time doing this and you don't have any shortcuts made already, head back into shortcuts, press add on the top right corner, press add action, press scripting, press open app, press app, and then choose the app that you want to create an icon for. In this case, I'm going to choose app store. Then press open app at the top of the screen, add to home screen, remove your label for a cleaner look, press on the icon, press choose file, and navigate your way to the folder with the icons in it and choose the icon that you want. You can search for it or you can scroll for it. Like I said before, it's a pretty repetitive process, but this is all that Apple's given us for the meantime, so this is how you gotta do it. Do this as many times as you want for all the icons that you want. The great thing is, once you've made these shortcuts, they stay on your shortcuts app and it makes it easier to link them to new icons in the future if you want to make some changes. And that's pretty much it. I think it looks really, really clean. It can be a little bit tedious to do and it might take a little bit of time, but honestly, it really speeds up once you get the hang of it, which you do really quickly. So anyway, that's that. And that's pretty much it. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Please, please, please subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a like and comment for the sake of the algorithm. Check out my Instagram at the Romeo Magar for a behind the scenes perspective and more information on new icons, new videos, new reviews, everything that you'd be interested in. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Salam. So